What's up everyone? My name is Daniel and it's so many words. Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we defeated Blaine of the Cinnabar Gym, which was technically located in Seafoam Islands due to the whole volcano erupting thing. And we got our seventh badge, the Volcano Badge. And now, we are going to attempt to battle the eighth gym leader of the Kanto region, the former League Champion Blue. This is not going to go well, I think. Also, I don't remember where he starts with. It's either... It's either his Gyarados or his Pidgeot. I almost said Pidgeotto. Um, so either way, Mudskipper I think will be the front runner. Alright, here we go. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. Oh, are you? Dead to dot. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms of Johto? Heh, <laughs> Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Heh, <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't know if you're a girl or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto champ? Oh my god, feel the hype. Feel that hype, you guys. Now the hype is maximum. We're battling Leader Blue. Yep, Pidgeot. Starting out with Pidgeot, level 56. Holy shit. This might not end well. Roll out. Oh, please eat this up, Mudskipper. You need to eat this up. If there was any time to prove your... God damn it, you got a critical right away? Fuck off. If there was any time to prove yourself, Mudskipper, now would be the time. Jesus. Already with this. Feel like your mirror moving might roll out. You'll get stabbed and I resist that. Why would you do that? Seriously. And now you're dead. How do you feel about that? Oh, it's just about leveled up. Okay, here we go. Next up is... Executor. Unfortunately, I have to switch. Because that will kill me with, like, Giga Drain or something. Uh, Executor... Zuko. I haven't brought Zuko in a while, actually. I have not, not battled with Zuko in quite a few episodes. Gotta bring the Fire Lord back out here. Okay. Flame Wheel. Burn this fucker. Uh, come on, at least half. There we go. There we go. About two thirds, and it wasn't even a crit. Oh shit, Leech Seed. Okay. Gotta kill this thing now, and then switch out whatever his next Pokemon is. I gotta switch out, so I don't want Zuko giving up his health to some other Pokemon. So, get rid of this Executor. There we go. Beautiful. And Jupiter goes to level 38. Very nice. What's up next? It is Rhydon, okay. Yeah, definitely switch out. Um, Mud Skipper, although I am gonna have to use this first turn to heal. Because I don't know what you got. I don't wanna risk being O code. Especially considering I only have fucking 47 hit points left. It is not a good situation. So. But I think it's worth the Hyper Potion. It's the most powerful thing I got, and I need Mud Skipper to be in optimal health here. Fuck, Earthquake. Alright, you're gonna get stabbed, but I don't, I'm not weak to that. So hopefully I'll eat this up. Uh, oh, God damn it, really? Please let me outspeed you. Okay. Now my only hope is that you will fucking die from this immediately. I need an Oko, otherwise that Earthquake will kill me next turn. Come on, come on, Oko, Oko, Oko. Give me that Oko. Come on, come on. Yeah! Fucking Mud Skipper. Level 48, baby. The Ace of the Universe. Oh man, this is good. Okay, we're halfway there. Alkazam. Uh, Scout, handle it. So if I don't get killed by one fucking Psychic. Okay, this is a little closer to where I am. It's only level 54. That's good. Shadow Ball. Damn. Of course you're outsped me. Why wouldn't you? Uh, come on, live it, live it, live it, live it, live it. Oh, just barely. Okay, I'm not gonna kill this thing. But I had to get in one Shadow Ball to do some uh, pretty significant damage here. Oh, okay. Good two-thirds. You know what? Let's get in a quick attack before I die. A quick attack that kills the Alakazam! Awesome! I love it! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, two more Pokemon. First of, all, uh, first of all is Gyarados. Uh, Mudskipper. I'll have to heal you the first turn, but get out here and handle it. 
Hopefully you can eat up whatever this thing's got going on. Okay. Yeah, fucking Gyarados' best asset is its physical attack. And no water type attack is a physical attack in anything prior to- Oh shit, Hyper Beam! Come on, eat this up. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it! Eat it, eat it, yeah! Okay. Roll out. Apparently I have speed of Gyarados. Or not. Maybe there's a speed... Oh, wait. I think I might have given... Yeah, I, I fucking forgot to give him. Let's give her the quick law, I think. Okay, fucking... What can I use against this Gyarados? What? I got a free turn while we charge Let's see if Jupiter can zap cannon it. Zap cannon! Fuck! Really? Alright, let's... Let's revive, uh... Mud Skipper here. Come on, Mud Skipper. I need you. I need the Ace of the Universe! There's Hyper Beam again, God damn it! Yep, and there goes Jupiter. Yeah. Alright, I got a free turn to get a shot in on this Gyarados with a Shadow Ball. So, let's do that, and then we will heal Mud Skipper with a Max Potion, and the next turn, hopefully we can get some rollouts going. Ha! You missed, jerk. Alright, I'm gonna get my shots in with Scout before she goes down. Alright, good. Hey, did your job, Scout. Good work. Take a rest. Okay, Mud Skipper, get back out here. Roll out. Really, you're using Hydro Pump? Are you out of Hyper Beams? That doesn't make sense. Fucking hell. Oh yeah, I guess it does neutral damage because I'm half ground also. Alright. Come uh, on, miss. Oh, you're not out of Hyper Beams. Thank God you missed that, though. Okay, should be able to eat up either one of the uses unless it gets a crit. And it doesn't matter because I just killed you. Nice. One more mod. One more and then we defeat fucking Blue. Okay, Arcanine. Let's do it. Let me get off this rollout. Shit. Alright, I'll resist it, so... Come on, eat it up, one Skipper. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. This is nothing. This is nothing. God damn it. Oh, you got a crit. That probably mattered. I'm gonna say that that matter. Zuko, you resist the fuck out of fire. You have to come out here while we're uh, fucking reviving Mud Skipper. Mud Skipper is the ace, you guys, okay? I need Mud Skipper here. Especially considering it's a fire type. It's the only thing standing in between me and the Earth Badge. I need this. Ah, fucking extreme speed, man. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, I don't have anything stronger than a super now. So... Let's get a quick... Ah, oh, shit. Probably should not have done that. Yeah, extreme speed fucking out-prioritizes quick attack. I think. Plus, uh, if it comes down to priority moves, Arcanine's gonna outspeed me regularly anyway. So, that was not a good idea. Alright, you know what? Earthquake. Let's go for the Stab Earthquake. The Stab Super Effective Earthquake at that. Come on, eat this up. This is nothing. This is nothing. HA! Fuck your flamethrower! Earthquake! Like, come on, Oko. Give me that sweet Oko. Come on. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Ah, oh, so close. Two thirds of the south gone. Okay. Come on, eat up this flamethrower. You just gotta eat up one more flamethrower, and we get the Earth Badge Mud Skipper. Come on, I'm begging you here. Yes! Fuck you, Earthquake! Oh, look at that. Look at that health drop. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to see. Arcanine faded. Gained 2600 fucking experience. Leader Blue is defeated. What? How the heck did I lose to you? Uh, I was better than you. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. I don't think it's a complicated situation. Did it that? Alright, here. Take this. It's Earth Badge. Damn right you're giving me a badge. 
And we got the Earth Badge, the eighth and final badge of the Kanto region. Da da da. Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. Goddamn right I am. I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. And you just keep telling yourself that, buddy. Alright, we got all eight Kanto Gym Badges. And I believe uh, Professor Oaks said to come visit him in Palatown, they got all eight badges. So, I'm gonna do that real quick. I feel pretty good about how that went. I mean, granted, uh, that was partially because I had some medicine, but, um, you know, I only did use a couple revives and, you know, my hyper and max potion. Whatever. <laughs> okay, the point is I beat Blue. This wasn't a Nuzlocke, alright? It's not like I'm doing this hardcore rules. Just a casual LP of one of my favorite Pokemon games. The only reason I bring that up is because I know some people, uh, when they watch LPs, they're like, Oh, you know, you, you shouldn't use medicine all that all that much, because it, uh, it's fucking cheap, or whatever. They especially said that with Nuzlocke, but anyway. Wow, that's excellent! You collected the badges of Jim's and Kanto! Well done! I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, Danny, I'll make an arrangement so you can go to Mount Silver. Oh, shit. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokémon. It's too, danger uh, too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, Danny. Go up to Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there. And it's gonna read my Pokedex again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright! So we have all eight Kanto Gym badges. We have all 16 badges in the game. So, I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next episode. I mean, obviously, I think we can go explore Mount Silver a bit, but there's a certain thing at the very top of that mountain that I don't think we're near ready for yet, so it's going to be interesting to see what we actually end up doing for the next couple episodes. But, I guess it's all the more reason to tune in next time, isn't it? So, in the next episode of Pokemon Crystal, we're going to explore the base of Mount Silver. But until then, take care, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'll see you later.